Hey guys, we're going to be taking a look at a few options to counter the stack when someone's, uh, or when you're armbarring someone. So first, we're just going for an armbar here. Whatever the setup, we end up in our armbar. Okay, one thing that's going to help prevent the stack are two things. One, if I put my calf on the back of the neck, it's easy for Sean to start stacking me here. He can start adding pressure because nothing's keeping his weight down. If I put this down on his head, now if he tries to stack, it's a lot harder for him. Doesn't mean he can't. He still can, but it's, it's gonna be harder. Number two, say he is able to start stacking me. If I let him close this angle, if I let him close my hip, now it's hard, even if I, I'm in a position to finish the armbar, I can't because once he starts adding pressure, I have to get past 90 degrees to finish the armbar. So, number one, I wanna keep that head down. Number two, when he starts stacking me, even if he is able to stack me, go ahead. I want to keep that angle, I want to keep that 90 degrees, no matter you know, how much pressure he starts putting on me. So these two things, because even if he stacks, stack quite a bit more, even if he stacks me, I can still finish here because that's a 90 degree angle. So now we've got these two pieces here, feet flexed, knees squeezing, thumb pointed away from the chest, all, all good things. We've got a three technique sequence for stopping the stack. The first one is when he stacks, I keep these angles, go ahead, and I'm gonna to try to roll over my inside shoulder here. So we end up face down. Now, you gotta be careful with this because the person's arm is straight the whole time. When we land, I wanna land, I'm gonna put my forehead on the ground and land on my side. I can finish here, but I need to give a little more hip than normal because there's no ground behind me, so I've got to give a little bit more extension. So one more time with that. Way up into the armpit, good position. Sean starts stacking me here. I'm gonna use his pressure. So he's coming into me. I'm gonna push down and go over my inside shoulder here. And I land right away on my side. If he rolls, if he tries to come over, I grab that leg, keep my knees squeezed, and I finish. Now, sometimes we're going for that same arm bar, and when he stacks, he adds a little more pressure towards his head, so it's hard for me to go that way. He starts stacking, 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 and I'm having trouble going that way. I'm gonna switch my arm, so we'll grab a third arm here. I'm gonna shake and bring his head towards the ground. When, he, when his head goes towards the ground, he loses balance. I come up and I finish him one more time. So I wanted, I wanted to go for the first technique, but his weight was too much to my left, so I can't quite go. He's stacking me, I'm getting uncomfortable. I keep that 90 degree angle. Ideally, I prevent it in the first place here. I switch to a third arm, I shake, and I bring his head towards the ground. I shake, Sean Williams special, I shake because an object that's still is hard to move. An object in motion is easier to move, so I shake, it changes balance, and then it's easy to just push my knees towards his head towards the ground. Now, if none of that's working, I was trying to prevent the stack here with that 90 degree calf on the head, but Sean's able to stack me, and now his balance is really good. He's a little more, and he's, one more, uh, more, more stack, yeah, yeah, he's really stacking me. I can't go this way, I can't go that way. I'm having a lot of trouble. I'm gonna switch from a third arm to a fourth arm. This hand goes all the way behind him. We'll look at it from another angle. I lift my hips and I spin my head underneath. And now again, we're on our side. We're gonna finish here. If he happens to roll, I wanna catch that leg because it's gonna block a lot of his escapes. Keep my knees squeezed and finish. One more time. From another angle. So we're here. We're in our arm bar, Sean stacks. We're trying to go over one side, other side, none of it's working. All right, a little more stack. So this is when we're really stacked up. We're gonna grab a fourth arm. We reach behind the far leg. Now if I try to spin here, it's a little tough. So I lift my hips and then I spin. I use the arm to rotate. From here I can finish or if he rolls, keeping the knees squeezed. So these are really, uh, this is a really good combo. The first one's my favorite. 
but sometimes it doesn't work. The person's got good pressure, so you need to be able to move them off to the side. And if they're just, they have really good balance, they're stacking you on both sides, you can't take them either way. You have to know how to spin under them. It's a very, very important technique as well.